One of those students was Casey Johnson. She was planning to watch tonight's interview because 17 years later, she has questions she still wants answered. Columbine probably crosses my mind every day still. Casey Johnson remembers every detail of that day in the lunchroom. She has the scars as her constant reminders, even the newspaper clippings. The bullet came in back here and left a big hole, shattered this whole third of my arm and came out the front. Casey spends a lot of time sharing her story, speaking to groups about tissue donation. That's what helped save her arm. And opening up to other victims around the country about how to take the next steps after experiencing something no one should ever have to deal with. There was no mercy from the shooters. He yelled at me after he shot me, and I thought he'd shoot me again. So I closed my eyes and pretended to be dead. Yet mercy is what Johnson is willing to show to the parents of the two boys who left her for dead. I don't have angry feelings toward the parents. I don't think that any parent raises their child to be a murderer. What Casey does have? Questions. What did you see? Like, do you feel like you missed something or were you involved? So you would be willing to sit down with the parents face to face? I think I would. She's not haunted so much by flashbacks or PTSD anymore. Her four kids are now her focus, and all she can think about is protecting them. So every time I drive up to the school and drop them off, I'm, you know, saying a prayer over the school and over my kids, and every single day I pick them up, I'm thankful to be bringing them home. It's a real choice and battle for me to let them out the door to go to school. And here's what she wants you to know. If I got to say something about Columbine, it would be that the good has won. Now, Casey became a nurse because of her Columbine experience, and that's how I met her. She took care of my dad 10 years ago when he was dying of cancer. She had to quit nursing because she will never have full use of her arm and faces more surgeries, but she has an amazing attitude.